Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas uh, with our series on success principles, especially those taught in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. Principle number four is specialized knowledge. So interesting question, how smart are you? Uh, and there might be a better question. So Einstein said this, everybody is a genius. So we know everybody has genius level, some intelligence in them on some topic or some skill. Notice this, he says, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. So, you know, let's give credit where credit is due and honor people in their skill set. And I like this researcher, he was looking at intelligence and he says, man, there's so many types of intelligence. So it's not how smart you are that matters. What really matters is how are you smart? And go back to Einstein, everybody, everybody is a genius. So Napoleon Hill, 30 year project, interviewing 500 of the most successful people in the history of planet earth and putting together a practical guide to success. You know, I wondered how many people read this book. For me, it was a, a life-changing, life-enhancing book. I've read it many, many times. But fascinating answer on Cura. Basically, this person said, most millionaires have read Napoleon Hill's book. And again, you know, everyone that I've talked to that's profoundly successful has read it, and usually multiple times. So you might want to put that on your list to read again and again. So Carnegie Institute of Technology talked about success being a lot more a function of emotional intelligence rather than intellectual intelligence, your IQ versus your EQ. Uh, and so how do we develop a good EQ? Well, first we probably wanna know what it is. And so emotional intelligence has both personal competence and social competence. So you wanna have self-awareness and self-management both fantastic skills. And then in terms of social circumstances, be aware of the people are around you. Start tapping into that intuition and feel the vibe of the room, vibe of the crowd. And then relationship management, because that's really where life is. You know, when we start talking about personal management, personal mastery, uh, I like this quote. It comes from Aristotle a couple thousand years ago. Through discipline comes freedom. Uh, and Jocko Willink uses that as his statement as well. He was the greatest ground commander uh, of the Navy SEALs in the war on terror. Michael Gelb was asked to write a book about success in life. And, you know, he was really torn picking a, a, a topic and a title. And then he came to realize that, you know what, it's our connections with everybody and everything that really is going to talk about success in life. So The Art of Connection is the title of the book, subtitle, Seven Relationship Building Skills That Every Leader Needs to Know. And I have a mini course book summary on my YouTube channel, Dr. Bob Rakowski. But I was training with a grandmaster in, in mixed martial arts. And one day he asked me the, this question. He says, you know, Bob, I want you to define success using three and only three words. I said, all right, health, happiness, and prosperity. You know, when he sat back, he says, ah, that's a pretty good definition, but you know, my master's taught me something different. Would you like to hear what they taught me? And I said, sure. He says, okay, success is relationships, relationships, and relationships. You know, I thought about that and I came to realize that, wow, that's really, really true. You know, relationships with yourself, relationships with your family, relationships with your community, uh, relationships with your nation, with your, with your world, with your universe, with your God. All of those things are intimately and exponentially important. When it comes to business, they say that people will do business with people they know, like, and trust. Uh, and by the way, if someone has a great product, but you don't know them, you don't like them, you don't trust them, you may not do business at all. Or if someone comes around with them, you know, that you do know, like, and trust, even if their product isn't as good, you're likely to go with them. I love Zig Ziglar. He had fantastic specialized knowledge. And Ziglar's law was this. You can have everything in life that you want if you help enough other people get what they want. Well, I know that everybody wants health, happiness, and success. 
And I'm on a path to help them with that as much as I possibly can. And believe it or not, a turbocharged, delicious gourmet cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate for kids or shakes could be that path. Yes, you, you can get healthier, that's for sure. Uh, you can boost your brain chemistry, including the neurotransmitters of happiness. And you know that can make you more successful in and of itself. Or maybe we team up together and we build that success. Every Tuesday, I have an Ask the Doctor uh, tonight's topic is going to be radical remission. We're going to look at the book where people beat cancer against all odds. There's our meeting idea and our password. If you have specific questions, feel free to ask. And as always, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful. You can reach me through my website or watch some information on my YouTube channel. And as always, make this an epic fantastic, beautiful, wonderful, amazing day.